Welcome to the homework for lesson 28. This is module 2 of grade 1. Please write your name first. Don't forget it. For these first two, we're going to solve these problems and write our answers to show how many tens and ones. And this is what it should look like. There's an example. So we have the 9 plus 7. Well, the making 10 to add trick is coming back. So 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 plus that 6 the other part of the 7 is 16 so that's a 10 and a and 6 ones 8 plus 5 I'm sure you remember 8 needs a 2 to make 10 and it's 2 and 3 that make 5 so here we go 8 plus 2 is 10 and then we have to add that 3 to the 10 10 plus 3, 13. 13 is a 10 and 3 ones. That's what you have to have for that first section. Now we've got a series of word problems. Solve. Write the two number sentences for each step to show how you make a 10. And the forms are just set out here for us. Um, Boris has nine board games on his shelf and eight board games in his closet. How many board games does Boris have all together? Well, they already wrote it out for us, right? So nine needs a one to make ten, and we'll have seven for the other part of eight. So it's nine plus one that equals ten. And ten plus seven for seventeen. Seventeen. Boris. has 17 games. Sabra built a tower with eight blocks. Yuri put together another tower with seven blocks. How many blocks did they use? Well, we've got Sarah's eight plus Yuri's seven equals, right? Eight needs a two. The other part of seven will be Five. So ten, right? Here's your ten. Five, fifteen. And we'll write that out. Eight plus two, what we just did, equals ten. And then we added five more to the ten to get fifteen. Uh, they used. 15 blocks. Camden solved six addition word problems. She also solved nine subtraction word problems. How many word problems did she solve altogether? That's a lot of homework. Uh, so she had six addition plus nine subtraction. Nine needs a one to make 10, and the rest of 6 will be 5, because it's 1 less than 6. And so that's 10, the 9 and the 1 together make a 10, and then 5, 15. And here's how we write it out. 9 plus 1 is how we made the 10. And 10 plus 5 is how we got the 15. And you have to have those. You've got to write those down. Those two equations, you have to have them. And then we also need this answer statement. She solved 15 word problems. Minna made four bracelets and eight necklaces with her beads. Bracelets and necklaces are considered jewelry. So how many pieces of jewelry did Minna make? She had four bracelets plus eight necklaces. Eight needs a two to make ten. There will be two for the other part of the four. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus two more is twelve. So write that out. Eight plus two is ten. 
and 10 plus 2 is how we got the 12. Minna made 12 pieces of jewelry. Number seven, I put seven, I put five peaches into my bag at the farmer's market. If I already had seven apples in my bag, how many pieces of fruit did I have in all? All right, so there's the five peaches plus the seven apples I already had. And I see a five and I start looking for another five. I just can't help it because that makes ten. And for the seven, I already know that two and five are parts of seven because I already I had that earlier. That was in the first page right here. We split up seven into a two and a five. Well, now I'm going to split it into a five and a two. Same thing, right? But these two fives make a ten, and then I have two more. That's twelve. So I'm going to write that down. Two fives made the ten. Then ten plus two more. That's how I got the twelve. Uh, I had 12 pieces of fruit, pieces of fruit. Now maybe I rushed it a little bit. I'm, I probably wrote it down pretty fast and my handwriting might be a little bit sloppy because I rushed it. Uh, if I went too fast for you, it's a video. You can pause it. You can go back to the parts that uh, I, I went too fast on and watch them again and pause it again so you can catch up and finish writing everything down or just watch the whole thing to check your answers.